Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Hello everyone, welcome back to Femorembera and this is the last week. So Louise Hines will host this along with Barbara over at 49 Dragonflies and their links are down below. Now these are so easy and you'll be able to smash out half a dozen in no time. Now today I'm making these cute pockets and I'm using vintage playing cards as little bracelet holders. So, so easy to turn any playing card into a little bracelet holder. Gosh, you could even do earrings on this actually, now that I'm looking at it. So you just do a couple of little hole punches, then a little snip with your scissors and voila. How cute is that? Anyway, let's go back to the beginning. The first thing I did was I had these little coin pocket envelopes and all I did was I decorated the bottom a bit and then I tore them down and I've used these as the pocket holders for my playing cards because they just happen to be exactly the right size for standard playing cards. I was so excited, so I just tore the front down a little bit lower, you know, that just meant I didn't have to go and do a little thumb notch in all of them. And, you know, I had a lot of fun actually, just playing with stamps a few different ways. So in this one, I just made it pretty simple, it had a little dragonfly stamp and this little plastic tube I'm using. Where is that? Oh! I just realised this is coming out on Christmas Day. So, you know, holiday happy, everybody. I hope that you're having a really good day. So, no, I did not do this on Christmas Day. I'd love to say I'm sleeping in, but I'm more than likely up with my children. Even though they're teenagers, it's the only day of the year they still wake up at the crack of dawn. Uh, you know, Santa still exists for them, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So I hope that you're having some good downtime, some good time with friends. Even if you're on your own this Christmas, which I have been many a Christmas, I hope that you're getting some wonderful recharge time. So enjoy the day and I hope you're enjoying the holidays. I really liked this, how I masked the centre there, as you saw, and I masked that and I did one stamp. And then I masked the centre and I did a different stamp. So in the middle was a numbers one and on the outside was a script one. So that was a bit of fun. So I really just kept playing with masking my stamps, you know, with hole punches and all sorts of different things. Now, the other version that I did that was in the little set at the beginning, I'll show you how I did that. Simply, I just used matte medium and I stuck down a bit of tissue. So this was one of the serviettes that we used for Christmas uh, because we had my husband's work Christmas party. We hosted it at our house. Gee, it was fun. And uh, some someone had brought these awesome serviettes, so I nabbed them instantly, of course, because I was like, oh, I'll use them. So, <laughs> so I had to use them pretty much straight away. So, yeah, I stuck those down and then did all the similar things over them. On the next one, I just did a thin strip of stamping underneath it. And I also tore a little bit of them. And on a couple of them, I simply just used some of my ink oxide stamp, watered it down a bit and splodged it over. That one I didn't actually water it down quite enough in it. But, you know, it still gave the effect. All right, now I am wrapping a piece of string around my hand about four times. Now that will give you enough length to knot a bracelet that comfortably fits your hand. So simply cut two lengths of string four times your hand width. All right, now I tie a knot in the top and then I just pin it to a cork board. You can use a bulldog clip, you can tie another piece of string around it, you know, any way that you can secure it. But one string, hold it tight, and then you loop the other string around it. Okay, so we'll do that again on the other side. And that's all you're doing, you just keep swapping sides. So over, 
and under and up through the loop and then you just pull it keep holding that other string tight now you just want it to sit so just watch it a few times if you're not familiar and you haven't done it before this is truly one of the easiest knots and once you get it it's quick it, you can do the quickest chain of knots out of this particular one which is called an alternate half hitch lengths of bracelets vary between you know six to eight inches i think normally but what i do you see i i just wrap a piece of paper around my list and i cut that length and then i can just keep holding it against the string another way is just mark on your board or on your table the bottom of where you want to go to now when you've knotted down the length all you do is what i've done here you just tie an overhand knot very easy now i've made most of these as just simple tie bracelets so you just tie the ends and then you've got a bracelet however here on this one i'll just show you i did a simple slip knot so you know the slip knot that you can actually just make them a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller but this is how you do them make a loop and it's the way that you make a loop so the part that's underneath on the loop is the one that is towards the other side so make a loop that way and then pop your uh, end through to make the knot so that's all that is and then you do it exactly the same the other way so make your loop and the underneath side is on the other side but look it's a little bit of fussing backwards and forwards you often might not get them quite right you have to loosen them you have to tighten them but it's a good thing to know how to do especially you've got a lot of necklaces and bracelets at home now you can repair them yourself when that knot accidentally comes undone and do have a knot on the ends so that way it doesn't go through the loop like it just locks it in just in case now you can make your ends as long or as short as you like I made these quite a bit shorter and I'll just show it to you on the wrist you saw how it slides fairly easily there so you know loosen it up and then you just kind of grab it and tighten it up but quite often you'll find you can tie it and because it's string and so easily manipulated you can easily just roll it over your hand and leave it in a permanent knot which is quite nice and I love when you tie them because they leave little dangles so yeah nothing wrong with not having a fancy closure there are other fancy closures but you know they're the basics so this one I just put knots on the end see and then you just get these ties at the end now this is the other thing that I decided I'd do with these ones you know how we love putting extra bit of something something you know uh different uh journals and so forth <laughs> had, to, had to just think then what am i doing journals um look if you just put something through the middle as you knot you can get all sorts of different little pretty colors aren't they cute so that one's got something more subtle but a bit of string a little bit of uh dried cheesecloth all right now this is really the basic macrame knot that i'm doing here I will and I'm just adding a twist and that's when you do half of it I'll show this to you but it it looks complex it's actually not not get it haha -ha. <laughs> you have four strings this time and you are working with your outside two chords so there you're working chords pop on the right pop it underneath the middle two and over the one on the left and grab the left right bring it up over the middle and it goes down through the loop and that's it then you pull it tight so you've now formed the first half of the square knot most people do the left first and then the right I've just do it that way okay second half is right hand cord goes over the middle two this time and under the left hand working cord so then this time scoop your left underneath and up through the loop so under and over 
and then down through the loop and pull it tight and then over and under and up through the loop. So under, over, down, over, under, up. Now, I'm as you can see, the two middle cords here, I'm just holding them at the over the edge of the table with my tummy. <laughs> Handy tummies sometimes. But uh, yeah, if you hold those two middle cords, just, you know, do a little knot on the end and pin them to your board, then it will mean that you're only having to worry about those two outside cords. So I finished it the same way and there it is on my wrist. And if you flip it over, you can decide which pattern you want on the outside. Okay, let's finish those two little envelopes. Remember those two little envelopes that I put the serviettes on? <laughs> we'll go back to those. So look here, I'm just stamping over that little dragonfly I've used for this series of pocket envelopes and, you know, nothing too fancy schmancy. Interesting using the black ink this time. And I only used that because I had a bit of water involved and so I was using the waterproof. But yeah, it's nice. I forget that contrast is quite nice sometimes. So here is the background. Oh, I do have one more fancy thing I'm doing. I had all my little cord ends and I didn't want to waste them. So I sewed them down. I just stuck them down and sewed over them. And I was very careful as I was doing it, but it worked. And then I fussed and faffed as to how they were all going to sit on the page. And finally, I made it work. So I did six in the end on the page. And imagine these in little journals as little cards. So they could be a little gift for the keeper of the journal. And they could wear the bracelet. So a bit cute. Hope you all enjoyed. And again, happy Christmas and have a wonderful new year. I'll see you tomorrow. I'd love it if you could leave me a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw today. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, keep creating. Enjoy.